Hi everybody. A lot of people asking me about uh, my pastel paintings. How do I achieve this uh, this color, and um, how do I build those layers, and what exactly is the technique that I'm using uh, to achieve those uh, those colors? So I wanted to share with you a little bit about uh, the process. Um, this is a copy of uh, Edward Magnus portrait of uh, Jenny Lind. Uh, as you can see on the top left, he uh, painted it in 1861. And I really like this, uh, this portrait and I wanted to make a study of it and, uh, and learn from it uh, as much as I can. So uh, after the blocking stage, where I establish uh, the portrait itself, um, and roughly the values, uh, not exactly, but uh, almost. Um, I go over the painting uh, with green. Uh, I build a green layer uh, of the complete face. Uh, so why green? Uh, basically, green is, uh, is a color that exists in our skin color. Um, more evident in men than women, but... Uh, but it exists in uh, in all skin layers uh, in different uh, in different levels. Um, so I build this uh, green layer. This is uh, called the Verdaccio layer in Italian. Um, the old classic uh, painters uh, used to do it uh, sometimes, um, and uh, and I find that in pastel uh, the green helps. Uh, make the skin a little bit uh, more shiny, uh, more nice uh, kind of looking, and uh, more classical uh, type of, uh, of color, actually. I use a very light touch uh, with my uh, pencil, um, trying to follow up on the anatomical uh, structure, um, not pressing uh, too hard, um, just to see you know, to feel the face and the, the different areas that, uh, that I'm uh, going over. Um, after that, I, uh, I take a violet uh, type of uh, pencil and uh, color, and I layer the violet on the, on the green very, very gently uh, in different areas where I feel uh, uh, it's, uh, let's say, on a more darker areas, uh, shadows and uh, areas like that. Uh, this helps uh, bring a little bit of redness, but not uh, too much. Uh, just build it uh, uh, gradually, slowly, slowly, uh, um, piece by piece. As you can see, the portrait becomes a little bit uh, strange at that stage. Well. It was uh, green beforehand, so uh, um, this is a little bit uh, strange anyway. Um, after the violet color, um, I go into an ochre, um, a yellow ochre, a little bit brownish uh, in, in this uh, pastel uh, pencil. And uh, it, as you can see, it starts showing up more of a skin type of color and less uh, weird, but you can see that the green is still showing uh, under, uh, and also the violet still showing under. Uh, I'm not pressing uh, the pencil hard, I'm just going slowly, uh, step by step, um, very gently. It's a process, uh, take your time, uh, be patient, uh, don't rush into anything. The type of paper that I'm working on uh, here uh, is uh, from uh, Sennelier, uh, La Carte. Uh, it's a sanded uh, type of paper that can achieve uh, many, many layers. Uh, I think more than 15, 17 layers uh, of color, uh, which is very unique. Uh, I, I love uh, working with that paper. The pencils uh, that I'm working with uh, are from uh, Carbothello. Um, I find this uh, 
brand really really nice uh, really good pencils uh, to work with uh, they are not uh, too soft and uh, not too hard and the pigments are uh, very clean I will leave for you the details of uh, these brands uh, in the info uh, in case you are interested in uh, buying it if you look at the, the top right you can see the end result of that uh, process of that study um, I really like it. Uh, I love the colors that he chose uh, for this uh, portrait. Um, I, uh, I learned from it quite a bit. And I hope uh, this video helps you understand a little bit better uh, the technique, uh, my process. Uh, of course, develop it uh, to your own. Uh, make your own uh, statement on it. Please let me know uh, in the comments your thoughts about this uh, process and, and my technique. Uh, and uh, do not forget to uh, subscribe, like, uh, comment, and help uh, develop this, uh, this channel uh, with me for you. And of course, uh, thank you for watching.